Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. I am in my car just about to drive across town to pick up one of my very good friends, Jessica. Jessica is, I have known her for almost 10 years now. Uh, um, we met when our oldest children were baby, baby, babies. And she is just one of those mom friends <laughs> that got you through the hard times when your kids were little. I think all of you moms out there know what I'm talking about. They're the ones that we could talk to about, you know, having completely sleepless nights, teething, being sick, going to school, all, all the things. So she is a very, very special friend to me. She lives in Davis. She lives across town, same town that I live in. And uh, her and her family have just renovated their beautiful mid-century modern home. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, they So it's a mid-century modern home, so it's pretty interesting. A lot of the houses here in town have the same style. And part of the style of the homes is that they actually had indoor gardens. They actually had indoor, like I'll call them atriums, really big, um, what do you call them? Skylights, really huge skylights and like not pots, like actually down to the ground gardens <laughs> inside, which I think is the coolest thing. When I was still working, I was a home health physical therapist. I used to go into people's homes all the time and I would see these gardens and see what people would plant in these indoor gardens. And it was just the coolest thing. So since Jessica and her family just finished up their interior renovation, it's all done. It looks gorgeous. It is time to address the indoor gardens that she has. And she asked me if I would help her. And of course I said, yes. So I am headed over there to pick her up. I'll give you guys a quick look of the space that we're planning to redo. And then we're going to head into Sacramento and go to Green Acres so we can start picking out some plants. This is a very interesting Christine garden makeover for me because this is all indoor gardening. So we can go with all indoor house plants. That's one option. Or we can kind of stretch it a little bit and go with some outdoor plants that might do well indoors, especially because she has such a big skylight. She has, it, it's like the optimal situation <laughs> for growing some plants. So let me head over to Jessica's right now and I will show you guys uh, the area that I'm talking about. All right, here's her front door. Isn't this beautiful? And you can kind of see. Oh, it looks so good. All right, everyone, we are here. This is my good friend, Jessica, Hi. I was telling you about. There is her daughter, Rosalie, over there. She is going to give us a tour <laughs> <laughs> around her new house. Do you love your new house? Is it perfect? Okay, let me turn the camera around. Okay. Hi, how are you, Rosalie? Hi, Rosalie. And what are we going to see today? I guess my new house for right now. Your new house has been totally renovated. First, can you point out the garden beds? This is the pink garden and the purple garden. Okay, and you have hydrangeas here. Are we going to keep these hydrangeas? I think Mom? We're gonna, I think we're going to move them outside. I think we'll move them outside. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a peek up at your amazing skylight up here. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> It's like incredible. So a lot of the houses in Davis are like this. They have the indoor gardens and it is just the most interesting thing. And you guys had it covered up when the baby, when the kids That's were young. Right. Yep. So we moved into this house when my oldest was 18 months old mm -hmm. and these were open and I'm were open. like, she wasn't born. They were like the world's biggest child hazard. <laughs> um, I could just imagine dirt and rocks everywhere. Seriously. Rocks through the window. Yeah, seriously. Um, it's called, this is a Strang atrium model. Strang is like the Sacramento area is answer to Eichler. I didn't know you had a, I didn't know this strain. was a Strang. And oh. it's an atrium model. So that's what this giant skylight and the planters are. It's incredible. So we have them decked over. Um, so they were still there. And these are actually just holes in the slab. They go to like the center of the earth. Um, so we have them covered up with decks. Okay. And that was great for my job. Proofing perspective, it gave us some extra square footage, but um, just the coolest thing about the house is the atrium. I know, so right? When we did the house, we wanted to reopen them. And so, uh, a little older to handle it. They can handle it, right? You're not gonna do anything crazy with the garden bed? <laughs> <laughs> so I was telling everybody about the houses that I had been into for my previous job. And, you know, I got to see a lot of the indoor gardens that were beautiful. So we're just going to go to the garden center and see what speaks to Jessica. 
you're going to be here and help us plant. Maybe tomorrow we'll get around to planting. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Can you show us your house, your beautiful new house? So this house was completely renovated. TV. Look at this TV, you guys. <laughs> it's like the prettiest thing. And the whole out the what is this the south or north, north facing this whole area that was they, all enclosed that was there was one slider and a kitchen window on that wall and you guys and opened, opened the whole up, thing up took down some walls moved the kitchen across the house oh. it just feels like very much the layout that the house should be uh, yeah, I, I know this is a gardening channel, but I think it's important to show this so that we can kind of get a feel for what we are looking for for the the gardens, the indoor gardens. If you watch that um, bear head video, I, I was one of the friends that came over. <laughs> A previous video I did doing the fairy garden, <laughs> Rosalie came and helped us. So she's very proud of being in that video. And now you're going to be basically have your own video, right? Hey. Ah. All right, we are here. One of my favorite places, Green Acres Elk Grove. You ready, Jess? Ready. Let's go look and see what they have. It's the perfect time of year to be looking for Gorgeous. stuff. Here it is in the sky, like a orange. All right, you ready? Yeah. Ooh. Right? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna be doing some shopping. Okay, let's go look at the tall ones first so you can pick out which tall one you want. I mean, that's a tall one. Yeah. That's a bit- That's a fiddly? Yeah, that's a fiddly, isn't it? This is kind of right right? Yeah. I, I wouldn't recommend a fiddle leaf. I think they're I think they're kind of tough. I think they'd be really happy in that spot, but uh, you know, I don't know. They just seem kind of hard. They, do, they are hard. Okay, we took a little detour outside because we wanted to look for trellises like this to go on the wall that was on the right once you walked in. So Jessica decided on this beautiful one that I think is going to match perfectly. And then we're gonna get a star jasmine to grow up that. I'm so excited. I think it'll look so pretty. And the star jasmine is in full bloom. Mine is not quite in full bloom right now, so I'm kind of jealous that you're gonna have this. But okay, so we just have to pick one that you like. You don't really care, right? <laughs> okay, I think I wanna look for one that has a lot of uh, leaders so that we can wrap it all around. So good. All right, here's where we're at thus far. We've got the really, really big star jasmine that's gonna go off to the right side once you walk into the house. And then she picked out this dracaena. She wanted something really tall. And then right next to that, we're gonna get one of these big philodendrons, which are gonna get tall as well, but it's gonna like take up a lot of space, which is what she wants. In front of the star jasmine, we are going to get these. That's gonna be beautiful. Okay, we're done with finding the big plants. Now we've decided we're gonna do a tiny herb garden in the garden beds, which I think will be so cute. So we've got basil, we're doing parsley, and then Jessica wants cilantro, which I can't get on board with because I'm one of those that don't like cilantro, but that's okay. <laughs> This is Jessica's garden, not mine. Did you find it? Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't think I've ever had this many plants in my car. <laughs> we were asking about delivery and like, uh, should we get delivery? But I thought I could do it. I think I can do it. I think we did it, right? All right, let's go home and plant. All right, we are home. It is absolutely chock full. Jessica is very good at picking out plants, right, Jessica? Yeah, <laughs> so, so she picked plants out so quickly that we are actually gonna have time today to plant these up. So I'm gonna get, well, we are gonna get all of these inside, get them placed. I'll show you guys how they're gonna be uh, set up and then we will get started planting.
so we've got the plants laid out how Jessica likes it. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now you guys have to remember we might move things around a little bit. Um, there we are going to get uh, like gravel, stone type stuff, um, and we're gonna put that down. We probably won't get that done today. Today we're just gonna try and get the plants in. But you can kind of see they wanted height here. We're thinking about um, maybe like a mirror or something behind there to reflect all the greenery. I think that that would be absolutely gorgeous. Some color with these polka dot plants here. And then we get we did get this, I can't say it right, Tratoscantia pink stripes. I think that that will be absolutely beautiful here and it will flower, little pink flowers, which I think will be gorgeous. Um, we have Dracaena, Dracaena, uh, Monstera. You guys don't quote me on these because I'm not as good with house plants as I am with outside plants. Uh, a rubber plant right there. Um, and then they had the snake plant right there, which we're just gonna sneak in. And then over here, we have three, I love this garden bed. We have three peace lilies, which I think are gonna be so incredibly happy right here. And then the star jasmine. And we did get a trellis that we're gonna put back there. We accidentally left it at the store, <laughs> but <laughs> Jessica's husband is gonna stop by and pick it up for us. We didn't have any room in the car anyway. So that's gonna go kind of right here. It's gonna overlap this stucco wall just a little bit, but I think it'll be really pretty because the star jasmine will then wrap around it. But you can see there is so much light in this home. It like, these plants are gonna be so incredibly happy. It's gonna be so neat once all of this uh, grows in. So what we're gonna do right now, I'll set up the camera and then I will start planting. I did bring my big auger right there. So I will be using that. I'm sure I'm gonna be making a mess, but luckily it's easy to clean up. Jessica just made a fantastic point. Look at how light it is in this house. There is not one light bulb turned on right now. Nothing, absolutely nothing. That is, that is so cool. I'm so jealous of you. This is like the perfect gardener's house. We should switch houses, Jessica. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we are at at the end of day one. I think I'm gonna go ahead and post this video just so you guys can see. I will probably have a part two. I think I'm gonna come back tomorrow. I still have to do the drip irrigation. And then Jessica and I are gonna go to a landscape supply place and pick out some gravel that we can put down. We can't decide if we're gonna do the like a light gray color, which I think would be really pretty. Or I'm gonna come over here, Jessica. <laughs> Or she has this gorgeous backyard here and they just got this 
uh, what do you call it? Gravel. So this is really pretty too. So we're going to, we're going to think about it. We'll ask her husband, um, just to decide which type of gravel will be best. And then we will put that down just to keep the area clean because you're going to have dirt all over the place. <laughs> Right now there's dirt everywhere. I feel bad, but she's, she will mop later, she said. So the hardest thing I would say was planting this star jasmine right here just because it was such a big root ball. I had a hard time getting all the way down, but luckily these garden beds go down to the earth, right? Yeah, like there's, there's, the there's like nothing underneath it. So we can go basically as deep as we want. Like I said, we did get a trellis that we left at the garden center. We just completely forgot. <laughs> And so uh, Jessica's husband is stopping by and picking that up on his way home from work. So I will untwine this tomorrow and I will put this on the trellis. This is our favorite garden bed right here with the star jasmine and then the peace lilies in front. And then Jessica has her little herb garden right here and two little sunflowers that her kids made her. Isn't that cute? Was that for Mother's Day? They're from kindergarten. They're, They're from kindergarten? kindergarten? <laughs> That's so cute. All right, and then over here, this is more our tropical bed. We think we're gonna get a couple more of the peace lilies and dot them around to kind of tie the two beds together. Um, she wanted a lot of color and I think that we totally did that with the polka dot plants and then this neon green dracaena, um, this pink uh, tianaki, I, I, I don't know how you say that, but it's rubber plant basically. And then like I said, the monstera and then uh, the other dracaena right there. So. I think it looks really good. I think it'll look even better once we get the gravel in, but that will have to be in another video um, because I have to go home now to get my kids. This is Dash. This is Jessica's other child, the older one. Oh, that's a nice smile, Dash. <laughs> so he is Rosalie's older brother. Do you like the plants? Yeah. Are you happy to have something in here? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we will be back tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna post this video. So stay tuned for part two of our indoor mid-century modern, I don't know what I'm gonna call it, atrium makeover. I'm really excited. This is such an interesting garden project. So I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today. Say bye. Bye.